other tangents and chords. So, one option is that we want to determine an unknown coefficient if the line is a tangent. If we are given the equation of a line with an unknown coefficient, for example, 3x plus ky minus 15 is equal to 0, we can be asked to determine the value of the unknown coefficient if the line is a tangent to some given circle. As such, questions do not require the point of contact. We use the perpendicular distance formula to solve the question. So let's have a look at the question. Determine the values of k, which is an element of the real number set, if the line 3x plus y minus k is equal to 0 is a tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared plus 2x minus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. So we start off by getting the centre of the circle. So we take the coefficient of x, which is 2, we half it and change the sign, we get minus 1. We take the coefficient of y, which is minus 4, we half it and change the sign, we get 2. So the circle has a centre of minus 1, 2. Next we use our GFC formula to get the radius. So we have the square root of g squared plus f squared minus c. So it's going to be the square root of 1 squared, which is 1 plus 2 squared, which is 4, minus minus 5, which is plus 5. And that gives us the square root of 10. So the radius is the square root of 10. As the line is a tangent, the perpendicular distance is therefore equal to the radius. So we're going to use the perpendicular distance formula, which is the distance from a point to a line, which is the modulus of ax1 plus by1 plus c, all divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared. So we get the ABC from our line, so our A is going to be 3, our B is going to be 1, and our C is going to be minus K. And our X1 and Y1 is going to be our point, so our X1 is minus 1, and our Y1 is 2. So we substitute into the formula, we get the modulus of 3 times minus 1 plus 2 minus K, all divided by the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared, and we let this equal to the radius, which we got to be root 10. Simplifying, 3 by minus 1 is minus 3, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Don't forget the modulus sign. Bring down the minus k. The square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared is root 10, and this is still equal to root 10. Now what I would do here is I would change root 10 to root 10 over 1, and then I would cross multiply and solve for k. So the modulus of minus 1 minus k times 1 is just the modulus of minus 1 minus k. And root 10 multiplied by root 10 is 10. So what I did here was I cross multiplied this multiplied by this. So since we have this modulus symbol, we're going to have two equations. Remember, the modulus means to take the positive value of. So we end up with minus 1 minus k is equal to 10 or minus 1 minus k is equal to minus 10. So basically, we take whatever is inside the modulus symbol, and we just write it down. And then whatever is on the right-hand side of the equals, which in this case is 10, we let that equal to that number, which is 10, and the negative of that, which is minus 10. So minus 1 minus k is 10, so k is minus 11. Or minus 1 minus k is minus 10, so k is equal to 9. So we're asked to find the values of k, and they are minus 11 and 9.